guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we are dyeing my hair again. So I've decided that I want to dye my hair pastel because as you guys know, I've said a million times, I'm swimming a lot this summer and so I can't really dye my hair vibrant colors because every time I get in the pool it'll just strip the color out and it will also turn the pool all the colors that my hair would be. So I decided I wanted to color my hair because obviously having blonde hair for a long time doesn't suit me. So I decided I wanted to color my hair but I obviously can't do bright colors because of the pool, so I'm going to do pastel colors. So then I was trying to figure out what pastel colors that I was going to be doing. So I went to Instagram and I put up some pictures and asked you guys what you liked and what you think I should do and I got so many different answers, so thank you guys so much for that. So. The colors that I decided on literally like 30 minutes ago before filming are the colors that I'm doing with my makeup. So I'm going to be doing pastel pink, pastel purple, pastel blue, and maybe some mint in there. I know that these colors are probably going to come out like within the first like three times of me swimming, which is totally fine with me because then I can do other pastel shades and it allows me to be able to dye my hair more often. Okay, so I got out some of my colors and I'm going to show you exactly what I pulled out just so you guys can see what I'm thinking about doing. So I have some Electric Paradise from Arctic Fox. I have Aquamarine, Purple Rain, Poseidon, and Neon Moon. And the Neon Moon I think I'm gonna have to use to make my mint shade because I have blues but I don't really have anything mint so I think I'm probably gonna have to add a drop of that in there. So I'm gonna start with a condition base for all of my colors because obviously I want very light pastel colors. I don't want them to be very pigmented. So I'm just gonna go in with this conditioner that Sally sent me in a PR box. It's Riza Be Obsessed Fixation Conditioner for all hair types. I was going to get some dollar conditioner at Dollar Tree, but I forgot when I was there, so I didn't pick that up. So I'm just gonna be using this, and I'll probably put water in this. So I'm just gonna be using this conditioner that I already have to dilute them, but I would recommend getting like a cheap conditioner so that way you're not like wasting a good, expensive conditioner. So I'm just going to use this as the base for all of my shades. So I'm just gonna pour some in each bowl. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and put on my cape. So now that I have the conditioner base, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some of my colors and I'm gonna start with my blue. So I'm going to be using aquamarine and see what this looks like. I also have this Poseidon color, which is more of like a true blue color. So I think, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet with my blues, but I'm gonna mix and just kind of see how things look. So I'm literally just doing a a couple dots in there and then I'll mix that up and see if I want to add more because I don't want to go too heavy with the blue especially because blue is the hardest color to get out of your hair I'm also putting aquamarine in this mint bowl I'm going to put Poseidon in this blue bowl okay now I'm just going to add that drop of neon moon in with the aquamarine and I'm just going to do the tiniest drop I'll show you guys what I did I did one tiny tiny drop right there okay i'm gonna do another tiny drop okay it's definitely turning it more of like an eggshell color now versus like an aqua blue so here's what that color looks like so far i am gonna add just a little bit more of the neon moon to make it just a tiny bit more mint oh this color is so pretty okay so here's what i have come up with for the minty color. All right, now I'm just gonna take my Purple Rain and this is so pigmented, so I'm doing just the smallest amount of this in here. So here is my purple shade. Now I'm going to do pink, so I'm just gonna take some of my Electric Paradise. Electric Paradise has more of like an orangey undertone, so I have some virgin pink left over. I'm just gonna add a splash of virgin pink in there to make it more of like a pink pink versus like an orangey pink. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the virgin pink in there. If you're doing pastels, a good way to test colors is to get a paper towel and then just swipe the color on the paper towel to see exactly what it's gonna look like on like a white base. Cause once it's in the bowl, it looks way more pigmented than what it actually will be. So getting a white paper towel and then swatching the colors on that will show you how true the pigment is because you're putting it on something that's white. So I'm gonna go grab paper towel just so I can see exactly the pigmentation of the colors and see if I wanna deepen anything or lighten anything. Here's what I have going on right now. So here is my blue, 
Here is my mint shade. Here is my purple. Here is my pink. Okay, so here are the colors that I have mixed up. I think they all look pretty good. These are the colors that I have mixed up. The blue, mint, purple, and pink. So I'm ready to be a cotton candy fairy. All right, guys, are we ready for this? Here we go. So I have everything applied. Here's what it looks like. It looks so pretty right now. I'm so excited to wash it out and see what everything looks like. I know it's gonna be a lot lighter than what it looks like now, but even if it stayed like this, I would love it. It's so pretty. I feel like it's gonna be like blonde, like a white blonde with like hints of color in it. I don't think it's gonna be like super pigmented like it is right now, but I love it right now. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna leave this on for quite a while, probably like two or three hours. I'm just gonna chill because I really want the color to grab into my hair and stick since they're pastel. So I'm gonna leave this on for a few hours and then I'll rinse it out with really cold water and then I will be back to show you what everything looks like. I cannot wait. So wish me luck. I'll see you guys in a few hours. Bye. Okay guys, so I am back and here is how everything turned out. I love it. I don't even know if the camera's gonna pick up how good it is. It's so pretty. It's like straight cotton candy, unicorn hair. So this is how everything turned out. It turned out absolutely amazing. I'm going swimming tomorrow, so I don't know how long it's gonna last for, but it is so cute and I love it so much and all the colors just go together perfectly. That is all I have for today's video, guys. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that will be in the description down below. I actually went live on Instagram when I was dyeing my hair and I showed you guys a before and after and during the dyeing process. So if you wanna see more behind the scenes stuff and more of my everyday life, make sure to go check out my Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye.